Good morning, adventurers, and welcome back to the Bahamas and the Grand Hyatt here at Bahamar in Nassau. We're so excited to, to be here today. This is our day two of our trip. Um, come along with us so we have some fun. Okay, restaurant number one, Sticks Noodle Bar. Hey a uh, table service type meal where you can get uh, all kinds of Asian food, uh, possibly uh, Thai food and stuff like that as well. I'd like to come eat here if possible. So how did I not notice that the walls of the Sticks Noodle restaurant is chopsticks? That's amazing. Restaurant number two, the Regatta Buffet. Heard it's very nice for you. Navy, like not navy, but sailing theme. I'm not gonna show all the menus today, but you can definitely check out the menus online. Supposedly this is quite pricey, it's like kind of everything else here in the world. But the buffet, the Rod buffet, is like kind of like seafood-esque um, buffet because it's like sailing atmosphere. Okay, next we have the restaurant number three, the Pizza Lab, which is supposed to be build your own pizza. Go check it out. Very cool. Restaurant number four, this is Shwing Bok, which is a fine Chinese cuisine. Restaurant number five, the Swimming Pig, which is kind of like a sports bar, pub style, style vibe. Very cool. Swimming Pig. Restaurant number six, which is Katsua, which is a Japanese style um, sushi type place. It does also serve hibachi, I believe, that is dinner. Very nice. Still next to the casino. Restaurant number six is Cinco, Asian Latino Grill. It's like an Asian fusion. Which is very cool. It is downstairs. Cannot get in there to go check it out. But here is all of your meal options. And it honestly doesn't look super, super expensive. Some of these are like ceviches, which are very small appetizers. Um, these would kind of be your entrees, which are looking at $60 a piece kind of thing. So again, as per usual, everything's kind of pricey. And it's down those stairs. Restaurant number seven is Cafe Madeline which is kind of like your grab and go where a lot of people seem to get their breakfast and stuff. There's a little bit of seating, um, but not a whole lot of seating, but kind of like a French style patisserie. Very cool. Restaurant number eight, Cleo Mediterranean, which is a Mediterranean style restaurant. Restaurant number eight. Number nine, which I believe is Carney, which is their, uh, Arna, Arna, which is a steakhouse here. So definitely pricey, I would assume. So, it's from Wagyu, so you can get a $150 steak. What's the most expensive one? $200? $200 Wagyu flight. Yep. Restaurant number 10 is Bilia. I think that's how you say it. And this could be an Italian restaurant. Yes, you have your, your antipasti, your prima, and your secondi, which is, of course, your appetizer, first course, and second course. And then you'll usually have your dessert as well. Um, so again, for your secundi, which is your main meal, you're looking at $82 for a filet mignon. It's a very nice Italian-style restaurant, if that is what you're looking for here. Number 11, I think, the Palms Cafe. Great for lunches. And it has a little bit less fancy items if you're looking for it. El Jefe, it's a food truck, Mexican. Probably we're going to eat lunch today. On the Rosewood side, another food truck. Koi Pond here as well. Very cool. Here is a bar. Is Costa here. This is a beautiful restaurant because you're right over the water. That is gorgeous. I believe that's Mediterranean cuisine, but look at the seating. It's all over the water in the koi pond. It's a beautiful restaurant I've ever seen. So, so cool. I do believe they have an inside section as well to sit in. And Cafe Balloon. It has swordfish, bronzino. It's $30, $30. So quite pricey. But pretty. We have the Sweet straight road on the beach. Uh, food truck. 
from restaurant number 15, Nosh Pescatarian and Vegetarian Truck. I'm just gonna vegetarian. Pescatarian just means shrimp and then no other red meat or other types of meat, just shrimp and vegetables. So that's why it's pescatarian and vegetarian. Marcus's. I believe this is where we're actually eating here, Sean. Sean, I think this is where we're eating. Our reservation. Okay. Cleo Grill. That's where I'm going to go. I'm going to get earlier than it was. Mediterranean food. The Drift Bar and Grill. The Sugar Factory. Now this is a really neat restaurant that has all kinds of like regular uh, meal as well as a lot of her milkshakes and stuff like that. So they have insane milkshakes. They're $22 a piece, which is kind of crazy, but those look super good. It's a poke bowl area. I did try one of these, um, not from this restaurant, but somewhere else. I'm not a huge fan. Thank you so much for watching. God bless, be adventurous, and we'll see you next time. Bye from Baja Mar and the Grand Hyatt here in beautiful Nassau, Bahamas. Thank you.